I got my C broken at C4. Witness me! That was fucking awesome. So that's the thing that happened. Jeez. C4. <laughs> yeah, Mad Max. So, welcome back to the Broken Sea. It's been a while since we've put up a, a new video. Yeah. Uh, at least uh, like us been, in front of the camera yeah. filming. Um, so a lot of change, a lot of things have changed. Uh, new move. location. I. He moved. Um, and I was gonna say like, oh man, I tried making cereal and burned down the old place. <laughs> With your roommate inside. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, new location. Uh, also, quick, thank you very much. We're over 200 subscribers now. Which means another stupid video is coming your way. It's not the dairy challenge. Thank God. I was pushing hard for the dairy challenge. You've already done a food challenge. We don't need to do another one. In fact, we've done two food challenges. I don't need another one. This is what, I, this is what I've been dealing with when I keep bringing up good ideas. He just, he just shuts me down. Why won't you let me love you? <laughs> um, so yeah, C4 was this previous weekend. Uh, so, geez, it's already been a couple. Wow, it's well, already, it's already been like four days, yeah, five well, days. Yeah, since then. Well, we needed a, we need a bit of a break. It was a long weekend. It was. It was a really long weekend. I drank a lot. We all did excessively. We were right next to the hot tub in our hotel, so that that was a thing. That was a thing. Anyway, all things aside, this is once again uh, our kind of first con, really. Like yeah. Each of us. C four will always have a special place in our hearts. That's why we keep shelling out to Winnipeg. <laughs> in, in, in spite of all rationale, we go back to Winnipeg every year. But we're not dead yet, so that's a plus. Right? Uh, <laughs> we didn't get blown up. We didn't. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. We, okay. We'll save that, we'll save for, that later. for later. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is, this is my fourth year in a row for C4. Uh, and your fourth year, but not, you, you had a year break yeah. somewhere. Yeah. It's been five years, you went four times. Yeah. That's, there we go. Simple. <laughs> and uh, as far as the lineup, well, you know, if, if you haven't really gotten a handle what C4 is, check out our last year's review. Uh, I'll put a link on JP's face like I always do. Because <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> um, but as far as this year went, I don't know about you, but I, I had a I had a much better time this year than last year. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, this year just seemed a lot. It was a lot more relaxed as yeah. as a con goer. Yeah. It was a lot more relaxed. It, like the, the 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 people that were attending seemed to be in really good moods mm -hmm. and just people. No construction. No construction was in the way, and people seemed to be happy. Yeah. At least from what we saw. At least, yeah, at least from what we saw. So, at least everyone on the floor, like the con goers, uh, it was a pretty good time. We had, like, Dancing Batman, Dancing Us. We ended up on Global News for Dancing Around. Yeah. Oh. You didn't see that? I have been in a shell since it ended. Fair enough. <laughs> I've been in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It's, it's, it's walls. It's plaster. Um, but yeah, no, uh, C4 once again, just, just a really good time. It's one of those cons, you know, it's not too big, it's not too small. Yeah, no, it's always um, a nice size, and it's not like they get a ton of guests either, but the thing is mm -hmm. the guests they do have usually turn out to be like a lot of fun that you can really interact with, which is really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. Because it's privately owned, uh, C4, it's privately run, however you want to put it. Um, so it doesn't have so much of that, you know, like if you're at Fan Expo or whatever and you're getting a photo and they're like, okay, get out, <laughs> we, we need to get more. Um, no, nah, they're way more happy to just kind of stand around and talk to you yeah. uh, at this one. Uh, some of the not more notable guests, some of them didn't show up, uh, Gary Busey. Which broke my heart because <laughs> I wanted to meet Gary Busey so fucking badly. And you don't meet guests. You don't meet people. No, but he's like he's like the kind of insane I want to be if I ever had money like that. I would be like that kind of crazy, and I love him for it. Um, Fair enough. Who else backed out? Um, like as far as some of the guests went, Julian Glover. 
Oh, right, right, right. Who uh, was General Veers from Empire Strikes Back. He also... He's been in a ton of stuff. He was, like, a Bond villain, and... But, of course, it always comes back to Star Wars. It always, for me, it always comes back to Star Wars. I don't right. care. But, uh, no, he's been around for so long. It was really sad to see that he wasn't going to be able to make it. Because yeah. I didn't get to meet him at, at, uh, at Anaheim, either, so... Well, I'm... I was really hoping to meet him there. I'll keep it up with me mm. eventually. Oh, yeah. The trade off, we got two Power Rangers. <laughs> we got we got two Power Rangers. I didn't I didn't meet them, but I know you did. Yeah, well I got to meet David Yost. Yeah. Uh oh man. I can't I can't remember the Black Power Ranger. And I'm not being racist, I mean he what he played the Black Power Ranger. Uh I can't remember his name. Shit. Eh. <laughs> Point is the black and blue Power Rangers were there, and I was I, I kind of blocked everyone because I just wanted to be David Yost. Billy Billy was easily my favorite Power Ranger growing up, uh, and I, I I don't know, it was just kind of ah I'm still kind of fanboying <laughs> over meeting him. You're worse than Nikki. Kind of. <laughs> don't ever say that again. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, David Yost was great. We were dancing around. Uh, with uh, that, you had let we lost you. At yeah, that you point. lost me. <laughs> I you got you stopped. took justice off someone. No, no, you took someone. Uh, Chris, you, we lost you and Chris. Yeah. Um, <laughs> me and Thor kind of wandered off. <laughs> uh, basically, we were doing our guardians thing, which is now my favorite thing to do at every single con. Maybe tied with Danny Sex Bang and Ninja Brian, <laughs> especially the like the positive feedback we've been getting for that. Um, but yeah, our one buddy has like portable speaker on his belt, and we're just cranking Guardians and just dancing around like idiots. So many smiles. As you, as, as, like yeah. they hear the music and then they look down and they're like, "Oh, that's adorable." <laughs> I think the dance off with Batman was the best that was part because he just showed up out of nowhere. Um, anyway, we were dancing around. We lost them, and then uh, uh, David Yost. We I hadn't even seen him. I guess he was dancing around too. And then he called us over to his table. He gave me a hug. <laughs> Give me a hug. Well, and that tiny. guy's like way shorter than I thought he would be. Well, he's he's tiny, but he's still ripped. Like you're know, like, goddamn, <laughs> like just muscles. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hmm. Like I mean, like like trim, like yeah. like boom, like yeah. oh, you guys see veins everywhere. It's cool. Um, but yeah, no, Billy was my favorite Power Ranger, and always kind of gravitated towards him. So always always nice getting to meet something from your childhood. Yeah. Explains a lot. Mm. Um, and speaking about childhood, I got to meet Rob Van Dam. Yeah. <laughs> which, you know, because the thing is with C4 is that Winnipeg is a wrestling city. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of, like, wrestling, Canadian wrestling history that happens in Winnipeg. Like, Winnipeg and Calgary are the two big wrestling centers in Canada. And so when it, C4 always tries to bring in at least one or two wrestlers every year to kind of meet people. This is probably the first time that I actually bothered to meet anybody a few years back. <laughs> you, um, you can normally not be bothered. Well, no, it's not that I'm not bothered. It's just guys that I didn't really care about. Right, right. Um, like, Kev, they had Kevin Nash a few years back. It was like, eh. Who's fucking Kevin Nash? He was the Russian. He was also shred He was also Super Shredder. For, for that, like, Two minutes of yeah. footage, maybe. But, uh, no, but Rob Van Dam is always such a cool, like, he was really just inspiring just the fact that his style of wrestling was so unique and different, and he came out of nowhere, and was just, he was just so well-loved by everybody. And such a really, and he was such, just a super likable guy, really good mm -hmm. to talk to. Yeah, I mean, uh, he was good. Oh, I can't remember her name, but that one girl, she was a Jedi, Star Star Wars. Jan got a photo with her. She demanded a photo with Jan. Yes, she did. I don't remember her name. <laughs> well, I'm looking at you, yeah, Star I know you're Wars. Looking, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Terrible with actors. Um, to be fair, like, honestly, you're better. Like, I, they were really nice people, but a lot of obscure celebrities. I can't remember them all offhand. Take a look at the ledger online if they haven't gotten rid of it yet. Yeah. I think uh, they've already confirmed William Shatner's coming next year. Woo! And we already skipped out on him in Saskatoon, so... Uh, Shatner means absolutely nothing for me. There you go. Um, I did meet uh, James Marsters, uh, Spike from... Right! Rocky. He was there. Yeah, he was there. And also, just every con he goes to is just super likable, super nice guy. Like, his line was by far the mm. long, consistently the longest. So he played Spike? In Buffy, yeah. 
He was also... I just uh, remember him as Piccolo from the yeah. favorite movie ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, and Sean Schemmel was there too, and they were sitting beside each other. And Schemmel, and, he, and Marsters tweeted how Schemmel forgave him for Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> oh, there we go. So he's got, he's got, he's got that. So yeah. don't, don't hate on him for it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I was really tempted to kind of just kind of talk to him Hope about that, but it was like, ah, I'm sure he gets it enough. Yeah. Uh, but he was super cool to talk to. Just, and he's, he's one of those guys that genuinely gets excited to meet fans. And everybody, th like his British... Yeah. accent on Spike was so sounding so good that everybody thinks he's British but he's not he's not, <laughs> he's not <British. laughs> for the, like he's, he's just he's an American actor acting um, and he's really, really good at it like he told me a story about how he's one of the first people to saw the original cut of Star Wars before they added all the effects and music and all that kind of stuff oh shit yeah so that was so it's, he's, he's also a big Star Wars fan so that's really cool pretty nice um, and I met Tim, Ro Tim Rose Tim Rose. Oh. Tim Rose was the the actor who was in the Admiral Akbar costume in Return of the Jedi. Also super cool to talk to. I could imagine. Uh, well, he does a lot of like just costuming work. That's what he does. Mm. And so he works a lot on like he's done a lot of Doctor Who stuff, uh, a lot of like a lot of British TV shows. So, so he's kind of like Doug Jones, but like. Less his body, more costume. Yeah. Okay. All right. And he's super cool and uh, really big. It like he's a really big supporter of the Five Hundred First and the Mandalorian mercs and the Rebel the Rebel Legion. So he has a like he displays his patch collection that he collects <laughs> on his table. It's like these are all the places I've been to and these are all the people that I've gotten to meet. So like that's really cool. It's pretty neat. Yeah. As long as having a good time. Um, so yeah, with celebrities, it was it was good. Uh, the layout this year, they changed a couple things. Uh, like, as always, Artist Alley was in the middle. Um, that's where all the artists were. Uh, top floor is all your merch stuff and the celebrities. Uh, they moved the the cosplaying like like the five hundred first. You guys, they yeah. moved you guys to the first floor this year. How'd that work out? Um, well, the thing is. Uh, like when it starts off, there's not a lot of ground traffic, but they also did the uh, the video game displays and the VR setup. Yeah, right over down there. that same way. So anybody that wanted to do that gave us that uh, that line traffic. Okay. Uh, but other than that, it was I don't know. Like I don't think it was as successful for any of the uh, cosplay groups as they probably would have liked. Yeah. Okay. Because like I. Not, it's, it's kind of I didn't do anything away. with any of the cosplay groups, yeah. so I didn't know how well that worked out. It was kind of tucked in the way in the corner, and yeah, uh, it's, it felt like that. Yeah, like you guys were literally next to a booth full of like custom Gundam statues. Yeah, and the thing is, like, like the space that they were given was Ooh. so small that uh, neither the five hundred first nor the Mercs really could put up a decent display display for photos or anything like that mm. either with any of the costumers so i'm sure that uh, kind of didn't uh, sit well with the final first or the mercs anyway yeah um that kind of sucks <laughs> it, it, well the thing is like there's Trade only so off much space. Was a small hallway with a bunch of co cosplay groups so you got a lot of times where there's a lot of great costumes just well, yeah. happening to be all right next to yeah. each other um so that was good uh as far as the vendors go typical Typical, normal. Yeah, like those are like the ordinary. The vendors were all there. <laughs> um, artist Alley was fun. Um, yeah. Did you did you get the name of that artist? Uh, we were walking by in our star in our guardians outfits. He just straight up gave us some arty out of each of our characters. He just <laughs> signed it for free. Yeah. Uh, he was so happy with like the Star Lord and the rocket. Like he's like. There you go, here's a rough sketch of what I've been doing. So. <laughs> and we were with our buddy Chris, who was doing his Thor. He didn't have Thor, but he had Chick Thor, so we gave him that. I still have that, I have to get it to Chris. Still got it. Well, he's in Saskatoon, so that will be difficult. Um, it's not like we'll never see him again. Oh god, we might never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> Reality sets him. Uh, so yeah, uh, really good all around. As far as uh, con swag, um, because normally you're Mr. Buy everything. Yeah. No, this year I stayed within my budget, like... Which is surprising. I know, right? <laughs> I got three autographs, mm -hmm. and I went to three separate artists and got some stuff. Mm -hmm. But one of my cool, like, one of the coolest stuff that I got was this one artist, he had, uh, fight posters, like, the classic, like, 1920s boxing 
uh, promo posters, but he had like Carnage versus Venom, nice. or Wonder Woman versus Supergirl, or uh, Oops, Supergirl. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Bruce the Batman Wayne versus <laughs> the oh, it wasn't Backbreaker. But it was Bane. It was Bane. But it was Breaker Bay. No. What's the doc? Oh, damn it. What's the doctor? The doctor that you go to to get your spine adjusted. Oh, chiropractor. There you go. <laughs> Bane. The chiropractor Bane. Bane. That's pretty nice. I like that. That's that's actually hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So they were really cool poses, especially the the Venom Carnage, because it was a really artistic view of it. He also had a Wolverine versus Hulk. Uh, poster nice. as well, and those were really cool. So I got those, and I got a bunch of other art that I usually try to get. So I'm trying to limit myself to three different artists <laughs> when I go <laughs> to a con. That's not too bad. And I bought uh, those vinyl figures, but I got like a massive Proto Man one that's about this big, and I got two tiny ones. They're the, they're, they're the kind of things that you buy the box and you don't know what you're going to get till you open it. I Which, by the way, thanks for being dicks on that. I hate any... You know, that's what they did with the Lego movie, mm -hmm. like, little guys, and that's why I'm missing, like, half of them, and it's bullshit. Fuck you. Yeah. Sorry. I lucked out. out. <laughs> I lucked out. Yeah, like, yeah. I got, got I got, the, I, got uh, I got the Proto Man, but I got the uh, the Mega Man without his helmet, so it's the, it's the rare one. Uh -huh. So I, I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I got Cut Man, but I was really, I almost had a panic attack, because all I, I opened it up, and all I see is red boots. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Don't tell me I got a mini proto man, but it was cut man. So I, was I was there. Totally I was happy. happy. <laughs> I was happy um, with that. But yeah, no, I was. I was like uh, con spike itself. The yeah. thing is, we we keep, we keep going to cons, and the thing we have to. And it's not changing. It's, it's the same like stuff. The, the merchandise isn't drastically changing. Yeah. And that's not really any fault of theirs. No. It's or ours really. It's just mm -hmm. um, like I really because nobody's selling those mini bus, those Marvel mini bus. Oh yeah. Like. Those were what My very like, first yeah. con that I went to at Winnipeg, I bought the Carnage minibus, and the guy that I bought it from had, like, a table full of them. So I was like, that's <laughs> awesome. And now there's nobody sells them. It's like trying to find a decent one, and they're ridiculous. But that's what I was trying to find, and they, I, like, I saw a couple, but it was like... Yeah, they were kind of scattered like, all around. They were scattered all over the place, and there weren't really any cool characters. I was really... I was, they had, a, there was a Craven that I was really tempted. Nice. But I was like, nah. So, and like, as at every con, like, there's t-shirts and sweaters and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's still the same kind of stuff, but I do enjoy going to the Tea Turtle. Yeah, sure. <laughs> because their stuff is so... Funny. It's, it's funny, it's imaginative, and like... like adorable. It's, it's adorable. Like, look at that. Like, that's... It's great. I love them. I love these shirts. And I always try to get at least one every con. Give us free shirts. <laughs> no. I, I do like their, their just their style and just what, yeah. what they do with the comics. Like, I think last year I got the, the Smash Brothers one. Oh, yeah. Like the slumber party. Yeah. And they're all fighting in, like, in the bunk bed. Like, it was so good. It's so yeah. smart. But uh, yeah. other than that. Yeah. That was about it. No. The only con swag I got wasn't even from the con. It felt like a back alley deal. Uh, they, they, thank you, Christina. Uh, I finally now have the uh, Two Face from Hot Toys, uh, the Dark Knight version. It, it was kind of a back alley deal. She literally like, just like came to the hotel like you got the money. Like yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's now proudly on display. So look forward to that review later. I never thought I'd get him because I didn't want to spend eight hundred dollars on him. I'm only, so, only spent two. two. <laughs> Fuck you. Hot Toys are good. Like, 200 for a Hot Toys figure now is that is cheap. Yeah, no, I believe it. I was looking for a Star Lord and I found him, but I'm not shelling out $450 for that. Fuck you, price gouging motherfuckers. See, that's why I like bus. <laughs> yeah, but they're all posable and they look really nice, like, from the movie. Anyway. <laughs> so that was, that was the only thing I got. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, all around, just like I said, better time than uh, last year. I had a bet. I had a much better time uh, as far as cosplay goes. Nothing mind blowing. Yeah. Nothing no, really. It was pretty. Kind of it's, like it was pretty, pretty quiet this yeah. this year. Like lots of cosplay, but yeah. not um, nothing like I hadn't seen jaw before. dropping. 
There's that Optimus Prime guy again, who's who's there every year, year. <laughs> who could transform. Like it's and still, it's really cool. It's really cool. I just enjoy the fact that his trailer has like a crap ton of ads on it, so I feel like he's being rented out as ad space. <laughs> Which hey, you know, maybe we can no. start doing that with the Guardians dance to a certain band song. Like hey, yeah, totally, no. <laughs> we'll promote it. No, I'm a whore. Um, More ways than one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, point is the uh, the con was great. Uh, the costumes went over well. We did our Danny sex bang and Ninja Brian met a chick. Danny sex bang. Um, that he won't stop talking about. I won't. Like, she was. It was awesome, dude. <laughs> like that was great. You yeah, know, like like-minded motherfuckers, <laughs> which is terrifying. There's there's like a chick version of me out there. Think about it. <laughs> I'd rather not. There you go. Well, it's okay, just have another, have more drink. Um, yeah, as, as far as things you could, uh, you know, maybe do next year, uh, you know, like you said, maybe the cosplay, like, cosplay was kind of on the DL this year, and I know a lot of people really actually come out to the cons for that. Maybe you don't shuffle them off in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I don't like I don't know like last year they were up on the side. Uh, they're by each of the escalators. Yeah, or, which yeah. was really what, 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 which is really good exposure for certain groups. The, the thing first is, the groups, you see some of the groups they had at those spots this year just didn't seem to. Yeah, really. Those were like kind of empty. Yeah, they were. Well, the thing is, they were. The thing is, I think they were more vendors rather than. Yeah, and, and then that, that's, that's exactly what happened is that mm. they needed more space for more vendors. As opposed to as yeah. opposed to the uh, uh, the clubs, right, right, and which you know it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so that, um, but I'm telling every con now this uh, take a cue from the Saskatoon one. Start setting up some like arcade machines or like pinball, like something people can like do and do have fun. I'm not saying you have to turn into a carnival or anything, but, you know, it's definitely appreciated. And that, like, ever since I saw that, I'm like, that. why don't other cons yeah. do that? It just makes sense. Yeah, no, uh, like, uh, the PAX does it, RTX does it, uh, but they're yeah, also... Those video, are more gaming, Those yeah. are the, their video game base, but at the same <clears> time, like, and don't shove the tabletop stuff off to the side like it's, uh, like it's nothing. Like, if you... I remember the first year that we went. Oh yeah, the tabletop thing was like a huge thing, and it just seems to have gone on the way. And I don't know if it's because the local groups are much quieter now, or yeah, just not having the space for it. Yeah, but usually, maybe yeah. bringing it back in some capacity might be beneficial. Oh totally! Like they used to have that one whole big room dedicated to it, and yeah. I think I saw like three tables this year. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, C4, great times, uh, you know, we, shared by all. Did, we, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't interview a lot of the people on the floor because, I mean, at the end of the day, there's, there's not much you can really do other than, like, are you having a good time? Uh, which the answer with everyone was pretty much yes. Uh, so, you know, we do have a lot of clips, though. I'll, I'll give you a little collage here at the end, some monkey music, maybe Guardians. <laughs> We'd like to keep this video on. Well, yeah, I still got to figure out how YouTube copyright works, apparently. But um, at the end of the day, C4 is another another year in the books. We'll be back again next year, um, especially if we get the same rate at the hotel. Maybe get different roommates next year. <laughs> less less snorry ones. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, I'm sure I was just as bad as them. Oh, you were, and I'm sure I was too. But once again, <laughs> it's one of those you it's never like you never know you're a snorer until four you four out of five of us in the hotel room snored. <laughs> Although, quick quick fun story, they wouldn't <laughs> give us a cot, <laughs> so every night our buddy would go out and steal like the cushions from the couch, like by the pool in the hot tub, and he'd make like a makeshift bed. It was funny. Also, there was a bomb threat called. I it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't really a bomb threat. It was a suspicious, suspicious package. package. But second year in a row at the Delta, that's attached to the C4 Convention Center. And it sucks because <laughs> it's like it just gives such a bad name to cosplayers because it's some stupid person. I think leaving. someone said it was a jug full of piss. 
What? Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. And then of course someone has to call in a mysterious package. We were thinking it was our buddy Ken because he couldn't make it. <laughs> we had about three different <laughs> suspects. Yeah. Um, our ride wasn't staying at the hotel, so we so, got to leave. Ah, uh, we that which was glorious. And so. then we proceeded <laughs> to be the biggest trolls ever <laughs> to everyone who was still stuck at the oh hotel. Oh my god. And I apologize for nothing. It was hilarious. <laughs> you were all so upset. You know who you are. And then you kicked us out of the private chat. Did not appreciate and I, that. And I can actually show you the full video that he sent us. Oh, really? Yes, I, okay. I did get it. Cool, cool. Well, uh, <laughs> you know what? We've been knocking around some ideas for the 200 subscriber, and if it's what I think it is, we might read that whole conversation. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh. So look forward to that. <laughs> um, but once again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you much. for keep watching. For keeping the watch. Yeah, and uh, for subscribing. Our shenanigans and our rantiness. I'm honestly surprised, yeah, you guys can stand us. Maybe it's because we release videos so few and far between they can handle us in short bits. Um, but once again, just thank you for the 200 subscribers. Much appreciated. Thanks for all the love on Facebook. Um, you know, we're starting, uh, we're starting to actually get cons and, and go to, like, the media passes and everything. So, you know, let's, let's keep this going. I... I I'm having a good time. <laughs> I am, sort of. <clears throat> and uh, now that I've moved to the new place, we'll have our new Let's Play set up all taken care of. That'll be coming up in the next couple weeks. We're just looking to get some new microphones so we don't sound like crap during them. Uh, but, yeah, uh, once again, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, please click the uh, subscribe button following this to get your seed broken. Really? That's going to be your catchphrase? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Stay classy, YouTube, because I am never going to.